But what happened after that is where Kia Shine came in. Um, much like QC was uh, to Atlanta, my label, Rap Hustlers, was like that to Memphis, an independent conglomerate that signed Skinny Pimp, Gangsta Black, Lil Chat when she left Three Six Mafia, did a joint venture with Yo Gotti, and put out Gangsta Black and, and, and Criminal Man. These artists that were big on the underground because Memphis had our own distribution network with Selecto Hits in Memphis that was based there, a distribution channel that was distributing CDs and CDs with a popular format at that time. So we had the ability to be able to drop music and be distributed right in our own backyard. So we had markets that always fucked with and jive with Memphis music. So what happened was you got that sound, you got these independent records coming out constantly from Memphis and independent movements like mine, rap hustles that was putting out music from Memphis. I had rap tour buses and stuff like that. We're talking 0203. I'm running down to Atlanta and, and, and all around the South and Southeast and Midwest, pushing our brands with my artists that I just mentioned on their on my tour buses or whatever and putting it out there. So that's how Yo Gotti broke with the album that we did together, Life. Life was like his reasonable doubt. It got it sold over a hundred thousand records. Then we still have it available right now on all streaming platforms. But that song broke him. He had features with Lil John and, and, and Lil Flip at the time, and we was able to break Gotti and, and got and that's you, you got rap hustlers. Then came CMG and PRE. You know what I mean? Which was dope, which is Gotti's label, and, and and that's now with Gotti doing his thing and getting that distribution situation based off the success he has as an, as an artist. He went and signed more artists from Memphis and gave that 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 channel that connect. And now you had guys like PRE and Dolph that had the money and had the ability to be able to push their self past gold independently. You know what I mean? So you starting to have those movements, powerhouse movements out of Memphis. And then even myself from after doing the rap hustlers, going on to be an artist and being signed with Universal Motown and doing the whole drip and the swag thing was so crispy and songs like Wow and Respect My Fresh and Son of Frames, like bringing that whole drip swag thing from Memphis. But with the but, but all this was happening prior to social media. Now you get social media involved, that just perpetuates everything that's going on you know, in the town, whereas before, when you mentioned the the, the, the premier groups like OG, like OGs, like 36 Mafia and 8-Ball MJG, they were mm -hmm. big on selling music, but they wasn't online. You know what I mean? It wasn't, a, it, we we didn't we didn't receive the benefits of being able to be, you know, just, you have a hit today, it's going to be, it, it's going to be spread out much faster than it, than it would Absolutely. when we were coming up, you know, in, in that region. So for some, for a long time, we were kind of slept on in the nation but not slept on by the uh, musical peers or by the, the by the consumers with the sound. But when you when you enter the internet and you enter um, social media and, and then you get these guys from Memphis who've been putting in work for 20 plus years, it's come to this culmination period now to where it's like our producers are on top right now. You know, you got Hit Kid who just did the the, uh, the Glorilla and the uh, Shabuya yeah. record. You know, you yeah. got big producers in Memphis doing their thing. You got big artists from Memphis, full on labels with PRE and CMG, Key Glocks going platinum, Gorillas going platinum, Money Bass going platinum. You know, it's just, it's just a lot of talent now. And when you got that much money starting to flow in Memphis, the trickle down effect is what happens. So now you catch a lot of other people like my homegirl, A.R. Mermaid. She just signed a female out of Memphis. I produced three, four records on a new album. She just signed a Kevin Lyles um, last month. You know, at 300, okay. like it's a trickle down effect of Glorilla popping is bringing more people to sign more artists from Memphis. You know, it's just that trickle down effect when you have something that's successful, like Gotti was successful with the down in the DM record and those things. So what he did was just open up, even if these people don't per se sign every artist from Memphis, it just opens up the industry. You know, like I do when something's starting to be a success. Everybody wants to be cookie cutter. They want to go sign the thing that is being worked, that is working, you know, go to the market that has that sound. So right now, just to answer the question, the sound of music right now is Memphis, you know what I mean? And then the 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 artists from Memphis have a have a platform now. We've got deals in place, you know what I mean? So now, you know, you're gonna be getting a lot more uh, finesse two times comes out of here. You know, he was buzzing, you know, back 14, 15, but now he comes out of jail. And he immediately is out of here. Well, how can it happen? Because his predecessors, Yo Gotti and Moneybag, Yo, have platforms now. So, and, and what Memphis guys are doing is they're signing other Memphis acts. 
and now finesse That's right. time, now signed to Atlantic. You know what I mean? So you're you're they're starting to get it. The same thing that I was pushing in 2002, 2003, as far as artists working together and, and pulling each other up is what's happening right now with the younger artists and just with Memphis period right now. And it's a good time. It's really a good time. You know, let me ask you something because you, you just, you just gave us an earful. Um, you talked about yourself as a rapper. Um, everybody know you for the So Crispy joint. Um, yeah. You talked about yourself as a CEO um, with the rap hustlers. What, what did, how did you even come into the game? Did you come into the game as a, a record industry exec? Um, what, was you trying to be the next Kevin Lyles? I, I it, know it you more, were shopping beats because I you, yeah. you mentioned Drummer yeah, Boy drum and boy. shopping his beat. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.